Today, I want to show you a free plugin I use in pretty much every video I make. MCamRig from MotionVFX. This video is sponsored by MotionVFX. After installation, you can find MCamRig in your browser and inside the titles folder. Down here, you can see MCamRig. Let's go to our first example and apply it. Next, stretch it out so it covers all of your footage. As you can see, you can customize loads and loads of parameters, but I don't want to overwhelm you, so let's stay focused on our first example. For now, I only applied MCamRig and stretched it over the footage. If we play that back, you can see it has this very nice dynamic zoom effect. And out again. Here we go. And to be frank, for my tutorials, I always leave it at that. Let's go back to the beginning. As you can see, the camera zooms in quite a bit, and let's pretend I want to discuss something that goes on in the inspector. So I would go over here. And as you can see, if I drag this on-screen control a little bit further, there is a gradient in the background. If we scroll down, you can see that you could also turn on the footage in the background. Let's make this a little bit more prominent. So this would be just the same footage in the background, but we could also turn this off. By default, we have this radial gradient. You could also customize the colors or turn it off. But as I just mentioned, I always leave it as is. So let's reset all the parameters. Back to our example. I wanted to show you something in the inspector, so I move the on-screen controls over here and I always make sure that I don't leave any uncovered edges. Here we go. That's it. If I play that back, you can see it zooms in very dynamically and zooms out again just a little later. And here we go. Okay, for example two, let's say you want it a little more dynamic. Again, I go to the beginning of my clip and from the browser, I grab MCamRig. Now I can get rid of the browser and stretch it out over our entire footage. I move the playhead until the animation stops. Now I use the on-screen controls to define my starting point. And I would say somewhere around here would be fantastic. As we just discussed, this example should be a little more dynamic and we want to fly over the settings. So let's customize a little bit. We should zoom in a little bit further and don't worry about the focus just yet. We will set it accordingly in just a second. And we want to rotate our footage. So first I want to rotate it around the Y axis and a little bit around the X axis, something like that. Okay, now I use the on-screen control to go back here. And I think in this example, I will leave the background gradient on. Now let's try to nail the focus. Here we go. And I think I want to adjust the focus a little bit more. So the far focus is fine. It gets blurry quite fast, but the near focus could be a little bit more aggressive. So let's have a look here. Yeah, something. Something like this works out. Let's go back to the beginning and play that back. That's pretty neat, isn't it? But we wanted to fly over our settings. But here's the thing, I want to share a little secret with you. In so many tutorials, you will see something like this. They use this as the starting position and then they add a keyframe and go a little bit further and then they keyframe it again and adjust the end position. Let's play that back. Something like this. But there are many problems with this. With this movement, there is no easing. It is very, very static. And you have to figure out the in and out points for your animation yourself. So this is quite tedious. The whole shtick of MCamRig is that you don't need keyframes. So let's reset this. I will reset the position parameter and move the position to where we had it before, somewhere here. We want to tilt over the inspector from top to bottom. So let's use the position Y rate setting here. And the key with this is that we move the playhead towards the end, somewhere around here, and adjust the parameter here, something like this. That's already it, no keyframes, nothing. Let's go back to the beginning and play that back. Okay. 
As you just saw, everything is where it needs to be. And the beauty of this is, if we want to smooth the animation just a little bit more, we can do so. To do that, you have the position in and out setting over here. We adjusted the Y rate, so I want to adjust the easing of the Y rate. Somewhere around 50% would be fine. And let's play that back again. This is so damn smooth and we didn't need to touch keyframes at all. Of course, this works in both of the other directions as well. Moving on to the third example, the screen recording. Again, I go to the beginning of my footage and drop MCamRig from the browser. Here we go. Now I trim it down like so. We want to zoom in a little bit more. So let's adjust the camera Z position like this and find a sweet spot, maybe a little bit more. Move the position around and let's rotate this as well. First along the Y axis. And we need to adjust our position. Okay, here we go. We probably don't need that much zoom. So something like this would be fine. Let's play around with the position again. Maybe rotate it around the X axis a little bit. Something like that. And that's pretty neat. We have a little bit of an uncovered edge over here, but I will just leave it at that for now. To turn this into a screen, we can scroll down here and just click Pixelate. But as you can see, the pixels are quite huge because we zoomed in so much. So let's turn this down. We also need to adjust the prism amount just a little bit. And I think I will reduce the grid opacity. So let's play that back. And just like that, we created a screen effect. Last but not least, you can also turn off the in and out animation just by the click of a button. So if I play that back again, you can see there's no animation happening anymore. Or let's turn it back on again. Right at the bottom here, you also have a mask. So if you want to mask your footage, you can do this. So something like this, something like this. And to make this a little bit more obvious, I might want to zoom out and move this around a little bit so you can see. Let's go back to the mask. <laughs> Here we go. You can see when adjusting the mask height, the top and bottom is affected and the mask width affects the left and the right edge. You could also increase the roundness or the feather. So yeah, you can customize the edges of your footage. Underneath, you find a section for wriggle. If you want to have a little bit of organic camera movement, you can turn this on just at the click of a button. Let's play that back. Okay, this is way too strong because again, we zoomed in quite a bit. So let's turn the strength down just like this. And let's have a look. Still a little bit too much for my taste. Point 0.1 and let's reduce the frequency just a tad. Play that back again. And here we go, a little bit of organic camera movement. As you can see, MCamerick is such a powerful plugin. You can download it for free using the link in the video description below.